So here I'm going to show you how to add uh, new modules to existing module sets uh, in Render Ready. So once again, you can slide through these, whichever one you want to edit. Um, for this demo, I'll edit this one. So if you right click on the big on the building image, you can either open or explore the working file. So if you explore it, you can kind of see where it's located. Um, it's good to just quickly access that file if you need to. Um, same with all these other ones, you can actually explore these and see where those modules are located. Um, so let's open the working file for this and yeah we get a little error. Um, no biggie. Um, so you can see how this is all set up. Um, if you look at the pivots of these objects, you can see that they're in the bottom left corner of each object. Uh, the reason for this is because on how it brings it in when you build the building. Um, I thought it's just kind of the way it is for now. Um, so let's say we want to create a new new set so you can see we have wall A, B, and C which is A, B, and C. So what we're going to do is create a new one and call it D. So take this, call it D, oops, uppercase D. So now we have a whole new new set. Um, you won't be able to see this in the UI until we export it all. So let's just make some modifications. We'll just extrude these faces here and pretend this is a new window. Uh, not going to worry about mapping this right now. Uh, it would just useless to do that at this point. Uh, another thing you can do, which I don't do a lot, but you can create, um, you can parent objects up to the modules. So we'll just create the sphere and I'm going to turn on And it doesn't matter what this is called. Um, it's probably best to have some good naming convention. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this. Paste it there. And call it old sphere D. And then parent it up. So now we have this wall with a sphere in it. Um, so for this one, let's, uh, okay. uh, let's get face, don't separate. this looks at this point. Um, so. All right, so we got three new modules. Um, so in the export tab, you'll see that this is the export directory. So this will automatically be set if you have your working file open. So if you're always working out of the working file, then don't.
really, you don't have to worry too much about this. Um, one thing we'll do is we'll save this file. Um, so what you want to do is select the new modules and hit export modules. So what this will do is export it to this directory. And then the next thing you want to do is render the module icon so you can see them in the UI of render ready. So one thing to note is not to touch Maya at this point. It might break it. <laughs> I don't know why, but it sometimes will break the rendering if you if you start playing around with Maya while it's rendering those icons. So let's close this out and we will reopen it and now you will see we have three new modules called wall D in the render ready so let's create a new scene don't save um, we'll restart that so we can get the camera fixed and we'll build this Now we can select this, these two columns and scroll over to the right and press any of these. And now you have the new modules in your scene. Um, so you can, when you look at this, this should still be parented. So yeah, you have all that. Um, and that's how you create new modules. Uh, for your for render ready